Good morning. It is November 17th, 2021, and this is Dr. Beebe in the middle. And today I bring to you a talk with Travis Scott that his mama should be having. Travis, I won't pretend to know much about your music other than the fact that I find it morally reprehensible. I remember the first time, and let me say it was the last time I saw you perform live, you were a nothing, a nobody. You were not the main attraction. But I could tell then that your narcissism would not ever stand for you not being front and center again. I knew then when I heard you disparaging education, morality, and suggesting audience members join you in your trailer to do some lines, that you were a piece of garbage. I have watched in horror as you have grown in fame and how especially white kids seem to gravitate toward your style of screw society, screw rules, screw education, And now I guess you can add to this, screw my fans. People died, Travis. This is not the first time things have gotten out of hand at one of your shows. You encourage a drug culture. You encourage violent rage. Now 120 young people will not be with their families for Thanksgiving and Christmas. This year or ever again. Because you did not see fit to stop the show. The show must not go on, Travis. It needs to stop here. If you have this much charisma, if you are not popular just because of your shock value, then use this charisma for good. Didn't your mama ever tell you that you have to do better? That as a black young man, you have to be better? This is not about having things, money, and fame. You've got all that. It is about being a decent human being. And Travis, son, this is where you fall short. I'm saying these things to you, Travis, because you see, I cannot in good conscience rail against a society that would raise up a white boy to hero status for his role in the deaths of two Black Lives Matter protesters and the maiming of another if I also did not rail against you for your role, your responsibility in the deaths of 120 young people. There is nothing, Travis, absolutely nothing you can do to bring these young people back to their families. But you can do the right thing and admit your role and your responsibility in their debts and vow to, from this day forward, do better, be better, and lead better. I am not your mama, Travis. If I had been, this would never have happened. Now on to the white boy, Kyle Shittinghouse. The jury is still deliberating. This is a good thing. They need to weigh this out. They need to take their role in this decision incredibly serious. I am a bit disturbed that the judge allowed Kyle to randomly select the jurors, drew them out of a hat. You see, this was done to relay the message that his fate is in their hands. To some, it could give some sort of superstitious belief in providence. This was a bad move on the part of this judge, but it was just one of many. I do not have much more than that to say right now. I will after the verdict is rendered. I hope there will be a celebration of justice delivered fairly. 
At this point, I can only hope. If it is not, let us not take to violence to demonstrate our horror and sadness. Let us band together, work together to ensure we continue the work begun. Black lives do matter, and so do the lives of anyone who attends a rally in support of those black lives lost and in protest of future black lives who could be lost at the hands of police brutality. This is Dr. Beebe signing out, and I hope to be with you again soon.